Hello guys, this is Coach and Code, and in this lecture, we are going to learn about monotonic stack. All right, so we'll learn what are monotonic stack, what they are used for, what they, uh, what are their applications, right? How do you create one, right? And then also uh, at the end of the video, I'll explain how using the monotonic stack you can solve the problems. And after this lecture, of course, we are going to solve some medium and hard level problems based on monotonic st uh, stack that have been asked in previous uh, interview questions for uh, product-based companies like Google and Amazon, right? So let's get started. So let's start with the definition of what is monotonic stack. So a stack in which all the elements are either in non-increasing or non-decreasing order. Sorry. So what does that mean? They, either they are all increasing having at some point they can have some equal elements right or they are all uh, decreasing right again they can have some equal elements right so this is called monotonic because they do not change their tone if they are going up they are going up if they are going down they are going down they don't change their tone like going up and then down that doesn't happen so this is the definition of monotonic stack that was the definition of monotonic so a stack which is monotonic that means all the elements are either in non-increasing or non-decreasing order right <coughs> sorry so what are the applications so monotonic, monotonic stacks are used in situation where uh, you have either find the largest or smallest element efficiently for each element you are given an array of integers right for each element in the array you have to find either the next larger or smaller element right and even though it doesn't sound like a very big problem but uh, the kind of problem that you are going to solve using monotonic stack when you when you are able to solve those problems using stack you will realize that yeah this is an amazing technique actually all right yeah of course what are the importance so using this you can solve complex problems very easily right implementation becomes very easy i'll show you that and of course the monotonic uh, the problem based on monotonic stack have been asked in many product based company interviews right so i find it very impo important and even in my experience when i was going uh, for the job interviews i have actually encountered a uh, problem based on monotonic stack itself right so yeah the, the, this is the importance of this uh, technique so uh, so that's why i want to teach you this so let's 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 see the different types of monotonic stack there are two types of monotonic stack either increasing or decreasing right so increasing monotonic stack uh, stack in which all the elements are uh, in non-decreasing order uh, one mistake here i need to remove this either right so a stack a stack in which all of the elements are in non-decreasing order right going up that is your monotonic increasing stack why don't uh, directly say here increasing because there can be some elements which are equal so your graph goes like this at some point it would it would be flat and then would increase again it is still monotonic right that's why i call it non-decreasing but uh just for the you know simplicity people call it monotonic increasing stack but there are possibilities that they will be equal elements that's why it is non-decreasing to be honest yeah so see how do you maintain it so when you are going to create a stack all you have to have is a stack right and since the stack is monotonic increasing in this case right so all of the elements are in the increasing order and since uh, you can't actually change the order of the elements that are stored inside the stack you can't make them uh, you know monotonic after the insertion you have to make sure when you are inserting a new element the stack is still is monotonic that means at the time of insertion you have to enforce the policy that the stack must be increasing how do you do that when you're trying to make an increasing monotonic stack right let's say if you're going to add a new element you need to make sure that after adding that new element the stack is still in the increasing order right so if this let's say this stack is in increasing order right so starting from bottom to the up you know, top part so as you can see this is an increasing uh, in the increasing order right one three five and six let's say you want to insert a new element four if you uh, insert four here it will come on top and if four comes after six it is not monotonic at all right so when you are going to insert a new element in the monotonic stack and you want to make sure that this is increasing monotonic stack you need to remove elements from the top which are greater than the current element that you are going to insert for example if you are going to insert four right you can't directly insert that here it will break the order so you need to remove elements which are greater than that 
right so you need to remove six you need to remove five and then only you can insert four then the, the stack would be one three and four that is your monotonic increasing stack right so either it is increasing or decreasing you have to make sure that follows the property and you have to make sure that at the time of insertion that's how you create monotonic stack right so when you are going to insert a new element what you do there are two steps involved first remove the elements which will break the property of your monotonic stack so for there will be a while loop to remove all of the elements right which are invalid and after that only you insert it so let's say I, uh, I want to insert four remove six and remove five then only go ahead and insert four right so how do you do that so while the stack is not empty of course and top of the stack is actually greater than the current element that you are going to insert right so this is your while condition you keep on popping it right currently of course size is greater than zero and top of uh, let's say i'm going to insert four and top of stack is greater than four remove it top of stack is greater than four remove it now the condition doesn't uh, satisfy so you come here and you insert it okay so this way you make sure that your stack is monotonically increasing right so here the example i was talking about i already gave you the example and uh, i'm just going ahead of my own presentation so yeah let's say you want to insert four what you'll do you'll go to the top of the stack and you say can i insert it here so uh, remember whenever you are going to insert a new element you need to first make sure uh, you, you perform this uh, the whole thing the whole operation insertion operation in two steps step one is you will remove element which are invalid so that's exactly what i'm going to do uh, you see the six is greater than four you remove it you see the five is greater than four you remove it now nothing is greater than four the top of stack is not actually greater than four now you can insert it right and now your stack is again monotonically increasing stack right so this is how you make sure that your stack is monotonically increasing no monotonically decreasing again i forgot to remove this either part so a stack in uh, in which all of the elements are in non-increasing order that means they are decreasing right yeah so again same thing uh you need to make sure the uh the stack is in decreasing order that means uh yeah. sorry uh from bottom till the top you have the biggest element then smaller than smaller than smaller than smaller right? this is your monotonically decreasing stack right so if you want to you want to go ahead and insert a new element on the top because in the stack you can only insert on the top right so you need to make sure that the new element that you are inserting is actually smaller than uh, than the current top of the stack right because it needs to be smaller than that so how do we do that uh, again we will perform it perform the insertion in two steps step one we will remove all of the elements which are invalid so let's say again you want to insert four what you will do if you want to insert four four must be smaller than the top of the stack that's why uh, that's how it will follow the decreasing order right if it if that is not the case that means if top of the stack is uh, actually smaller than the current element that you want to insert right uh, if I, if i have uh, just just one last time to reiterate it if you want to insert a new element it has to be smaller than the top of the stack right that means top of the stack cannot be smaller than the current element that you are going to insert that is exactly what we are checking here so if a stack is not empty and the top of the stack is actually smaller than the current element we don't want that right so we need to remove it so we are going to insert four let's say clearly one is smaller than four we need to remove that if we insert four here it won't follow the decreasing order right so we need to remove one three is smaller than four again we need to remove that is five smaller than four no that means we have gone through this we have gone past this uh elimination stage right stage one uh, step one so all of the elements that needed to be removed we have removed them what we'll do we'll simply go ahead and insert it so four will come here if you see this again follows the decreasing order right so if you see monotonic increasing and decreasing uh stack if you look at their implementation it's almost the same all you are doing is changing this less than or greater than right and it's very easy to implement right so this is how you uh maintain the order of your stack in monotonic increasing or decreasing stack, right it, it is done at the time of insertion because after insertion you can't change the order of the elements inside the stack that is not possible right so you will do that at the time of insertion only
yeah so this is the monotonic increasing and decreasing stack let's have a look at the application of the stack so uh, let's say we are given a problem statement. I'm, I'm taking a very simple problem statement, but the same problem. I mean, this is a subset of an actual hard problem from the code that uses monotonic stack to solve it. All right. So it's a subset of that. So for each element of the array, you have to find the next greater element. Right. For example, if the input is uh, 420325, for 4, the next greater element is actually 5. So 5. For 2, next greater element is 3. Next greater means next myth on the right. What is the element which is bigger than the current element, right? For 4, it's 5. For 2, it's 3. For 0, it's 3. For 3, it's 5. For 2, it's 5. For 5, it is nothing. So if there exists uh, no greater element on the right of the element for which you are searching the next greater element, you can uh, insert minus 1 there, right? Or you can print minus 1, whatever you are going to do, right? So that's why minus 1 for the 5. For the, of course, rightmost element, you won't, and you will always have minus 1. So yeah, this is the problem statement. See, the problem is very easy, right? Because it is a subset of an actual problem. I'll, I'll give you the link of a problem which is uh, which you can solve using this, right? It's actually a hard problem, right? So yeah, this is the subset that we are going to solve using monotonic stack. How do we do that? See, <clears throat> let's say my input is, of course, this 420325. And I have a stack here, how I'm going to solve it, right? So I'll solve this problem using decreasing monotonic stack. How? I'll explain that. Oh. Sorry. So, uh, of course, the array will process from left to right, and since this is decreasing monotonic stack, we'll make sure that the array, the stack is actually in the decreasing order, right? So I'll start with four. Currently, I'm at four. Uh, stage one, step one of insertion is to remove all the all the invalid elements. Since the stack is empty, you don't uh, you won't do any removal part, right? So we'll directly go ahead and insert. It. So element four in, is inserted and its index is zero. I'm also keeping the index, all right, just for the representation purpose. Yeah. So no, next, uh, two. We need to process two. Now, since the stack is not empty, we'll make sure that the the array is in decreasing order. Sorry, the stack is in decreasing order. So two. At the time of insertion, we'll make sure that uh, two is actually smaller than the top of the stack. If we see, yeah, two is actually smaller than four, so we can go ahead and insert it. Right now, we'll process zero. Zero needs to be smaller than the top of the stack because this is a decreasing monotonic stack. Why decreasing? I'll explain in, in a moment. So, yeah, again, zero is smaller than two, which is current uh, top of the stack. So, insert zero. Now we are getting at three. Clearly, now we have to perform some uh, removal, right? So, three needs to be smaller than the top of the stack, which is not the case. So, what we'll do, we'll remove two, right? Now, when you're going to remove two, sorry, when you're going to remove zero, zero is the top of the stack. This is the time when you have gotten your answer, right? See, you're going to remove zero, right? Because of three. Why? Because zero is actually smaller than three. That means for zero, three is the next bigger element. Why? Because three is actually greater than zero, right? Each time in the decreasing stack, when you are removing certain element, that means the element you are going to insert is actually bigger than the element that you are removing right so you have found the bigger element and since we are processing three after all the elements which are there in the stack right if any element is inside the stack we are uh, we have already processed them and as i'm processing three it comes after those elements right so clearly this is on the right of this and that's exactly what we want we want on the right hand side any element which is greater than the elements right which we are going to process. So at the time of remo removal in the monotonic decreasing uh, stack, whenever you are removing an element, that element have found its next bigger element, right? Because you are removing it because a new bigger element needs to be inserted. That's why when you are going to remove zero, you have already found a bigger element on the right hand side of it, all right? So this is next bigger element of zero. Right. Zero had the index two, so at the index two, I'll write three, right, and I'll remove it. Again, two is actually not smaller than uh, sorry, two is actually smaller than three. Again, for two also we have found next bigger element, right? So two, which is at index one, I'll update three there because three for both of them was their next bigger element. So you see, we are going linearly, and we know which is the next bigger element without having to go through again and again. 
in a linear process we'll process the whole thing now there's nothing to be removed because 4 is not smaller than 3 so we can insert 3 here with its of course index now we'll process 2 here right uh, is 3 smaller than 2 no so we can directly insert 2 here right now we'll process 5 is 2 smaller than 5 yes that means we have found next bigger element for 2 right 2 has index 4 so i'll update index 4 yeah and remove it of course from the stack so when you you are going to remove an element you also need to update the result right this whole thing uh, uh, let, let's just process the whole thing then i'll explain one more thing now again for three also uh three smaller than five remove three and update index three with five because five is the current element because of which these are getting removed same goes for four remove it and insert five at index zero now insert five here right now we are done with the with the processing we have gone through the whole array from left to right now the stack that you have any element inside your stack that remains they don't have their rightmost element right so for each element in your stack you can just go ahead and print minus one for them so that's why for the last element we are going to print minus one and remove from the stack stack is empty you have gotten your result right so in linear time in big of n time you have found your result using monotonic stack all right the next bigger element so if you want the next smaller element you can use a uh, monotonically increasing stack right so yeah this is how you uh, apply a monotonic stack to find the result right now what are the problems that you can solve this was just an example to explain because i want to make sure the example as simple as possible to understand but of course the problem that we solve uh, make sure that we solve at least medium or hard level problem so after this lecture we are going to solve a hard problem and of course i want you to try it yourself so i'll provide the link of hard problem right uh, from lead code uh, that you can solve using monotonic stack and the problem this problem is subset of that problem okay so some when you solve this problem you have solved some part of that problem already so you will be able to understand the solution of that problem easily all right so i'll give you the link of that problem uh, in the description of this video so yeah this is uh, all about monotonic increasing and decreasing stack so this is all for this lecture and uh, yeah uh thanks all for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you